Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. As always, today I'm making another video about XRP. I hope everyone is having a great day no matter where they are in the world. XRP is what we'll talk or talk about. I'm also going to talk about a few other things that are happening. The meaning letter of understanding the National Bank of Georgia and Ripple sign a mill for a limited pilot stage partnership. A memorandum understanding MO is a document that lays out the main points of an agreement that two or more parties have reached. Must show what all parties agree on during a negotiation, but they are not always legally binding. The MO means that a legally binding agreement is about to happen. In other words, they shook hands and are ready to move forward with the CBDC in Georgia. But Ripple is doing this all over the world right now, and everyone is so focused on the price of XRP, which is just above 50 cents. I know that makes you feel down, but you need to look at the bigger picture. Once it starts to serve as the world's bridge currency, XRP won't stay at these prices for long. The SEC vs. Ripple, the next important date is February 20th. Some people will say that something big is going to happen tomorrow, February 20th. I'm not going to say that. We might instead get a good idea of how quickly this case can be over. However, the case against Ripple in the SEC did not end on February 20th. Instead, the remedies phase of the case began with a focus on institutional sales. The case's due date is coming up on February 20th. You already know that this case will end when none of us expect it to. XRP is going to take off all of a sudden, and we'll soon find out that the settlement went through. But I'm not going to get you to focus on this or that date, because these days don't have any big news. Waller trading by the Federal Reserve in the world of DeFi will only make the markets even more powerful. Listen to this, for example, the fast growth of digital currencies could make people less dependent on the US dollar. A lot of people think that cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin could take the place of the US dollar as the world's reserve currency. However, in decentralized finance DeFi, most trades are made with stable coins whose value is tied to the US dollar. Just under 99% of the market value of stable coins is tied to the US dollar. In other words, crypto assets are actually bought and sold with US dollars. So it's likely that any increase in trading in the DeFi world will only make the dollar stronger in those markets. It's not likely that the US dollar will stop being the world's reserve currency anytime soon. You know that XRP isn't going after the US dollar, so do you believe the Fed when they say that the US dollar won't lose its value anytime soon? In fact, XRP will change the US dollar, whether it's a real dollar or a digital dollar. I do believe that BRICS is very important at the moment. They are speeding up the process of every other country joining the new financial system at the same time. He is also correct that everything trades in US dollars at the moment, but that will change over time. And eventually something will become the world's reserve currency. Leak shows a Fed the CBDC DGC digital dollar might be coming soon. As the prices of Bitcoin and Ethereum skyrocket right now, Forbes says this, and I agree that a digital dollar could also come out this year. I think they're moving quickly toward the digital dollar. In fact, I really think it is. But, you know, a lot of people like to play that down by saying they'll never be able to release a digital dollar. Congress would never agree to that, but in an emergency, all it takes is a swipe of the president's card and the U.S. will have a digital dollar. I think they're pushing for that right now, and XRP will move that digital dollar. As people who own XRP, I'm saying that we always win in the end, while crypto investors search the world for the next winner. We already found ours XRP. We just have to wait a little longer to cash in or cash in or cash out. Or we don't have to cash in or cash out at all, since it's the standard last smile. A lot of people say they can't wait to sell their $10 worth of XRP, while others say they'll sell their $20 or $25 worth of XRP. But what if we could just hold on to our XRP and watch it go up in value? That's what I'm waiting for. But I think we should make money at some point. There will be more time for you to wait, but I don't think we'll be able to cash out in USD. I'll explain why soon. Okay, I'm in the US with a few thousand XRP. I keep hearing that it will take off like a rocket, but so far it hasn't. If it does, how do I get my money in USD? I've heard those will lose all their value. What should I do? I think the US dollar will be falling in value at the same time that XRP starts to really take off. You don't want to put your money into something that will lose value soon. We'll get over that soon, as I said. One way to cash out XRP for dollars is to, as the dollar falls, a new system when you use it with a new digital dollar, XRP will really moon. Don't sell all of your XRP at the first moon. That's why I said to take a small profit. Pay off some bills and do some things you've always wanted to do, but you should try to hold on to the rest of your XRP for the long term. That's the best thing you can do with something like XRP. I also think that the US dollar will eventually fall apart. That seems to be what the US government wants to achieve. They're going straight to the bottom right now. Gold, silver, and platinum will be used to back the new US Treasury rainbow currency when it comes out. A new system for the US Treasury Bank will be set up, and the Federal Reserve Board system will be done away with so that it is in line with constitutional law. Financial privacy for individuals will be restored. Uh, 
There were people who said I should check out rate rainbow currency when I looked at these before. But this doesn't make sense because some of them say Treasury notes and others say Federal Reserve notes. So once the US Treasury dollar comes along, the Federal Reserve should be gone. The Fed will then have all the power again. Not at the Fed, but at the Treasury. It doesn't make sense on this rainbow currency. But is that the new Treasury dollar? There are those who say it's real and those who say it's not. It's even written on the debt clock. We now know that will happen. But will it come early in 2025 or will it take longer? 2026 or 2027, we don't know for sure yet. And I'd rather cash out in us government dollars. We have more USD paper money than ever before because the money we have now is backed by nothing but huge debt. I always told you that I didn't know if we'd be able to cash out in digital dollars or not. Would we want to? To get paid in digital money, I never thought that CVDC money was worth much more than XRP. The money from the Treasury, but if they're really worth what people say they are, that's where I wanted to cash in my XRP. Think about what a real $1 Treasury bill can buy. I always said, look at how much one XRP could buy you in the future. But as I said, this is going to happen. And they're telling you all about it. No bank or part of the economy will be exempt from Basel III. And if it becomes law, this proposal will change how easy it is for everyone to get credit. Basel, I, I, I right now, every bank is scared of that. Watch how Jamie Dimon talks about Basel III and note how he looks. There are also worries at other banks. This will also happen at the start of 2025. We should really make people come back because if we don't, the commercial real estate market in North America will crash when everyone realizes that 90% of jobs can be done from home. This would be bad for everyone, not just businesses. That's because most people already work from home and the commercial real estate market is about to burst. When it does, it will take the residential market with it. But Brian Brooks tells you what can make things better. Crypto is it. Listen and think about recent financial scandals like the London whale trade and the mortgage crisis. Every one of those things showed that trusted people can make mistakes or even be criminal in some way. But technology is still technology.